Hi everyone, it's Ariel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be consulting the Goddess Oracle for a new moon manifestation reading. I hope you enjoy the reading. Now, I'm going to be talking you through just how I would give a reading to a client so that if you have Goddess, Goddess Guidance Oracle cards at home, you can also learn how to give a Goddess Oracle reading. This reading is for the new moon manifestation circle that I run. I hope you enjoy it. Now, before your reading, I want you to get comfortable. Go ahead and clear your mind. Take a deep breath, breathing deeply inside your body, allowing your body to relax. Take just a moment to visualize yourself grounded into the planet so that energetically you have a cord from the base of your tailbone down into the center of the planet, deeply grounded into Mother Earth. Now focus on a question or what you want to manifest. You're going to pick three cards. For our first card, we have Nematona, the goddess of sacred space. Now, she's the goddess of sacred space. Her message for us is create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. A little bit about this goddess. Nematona is an ancient Celtic goddess. Her name means sacred grove, and I really want you to visualize the ancient goddess gatherings with labyrinths and stones and outdoor space. Now this is Nematona's energy. She's the guardian of these sacred spaces, these ceremonial sites, and of nature itself. So, the position of this card in the first position is in the past, really. So, you already know how to create ceremony and how to gather women and how to create sacred space. And you can use Nematona to further deepen your relationship with that ability to create sacred space. Let's move on to the second card. Sarasvati. This is the goddess of the arts, and she says, express yourself through creative activities. Now, Sarasvati is a Hindu goddess, the goddess of the arts. She teaches us to connect with the divine through creative expression, music, and the arts. She teaches us to raise our vibration with vibrant colors and sound healing in our environment. I really like this goddess showing up also with our sacred space goddess in this reading. It looks like it's going to be a really fun new moon um, cycle this time around. Let's get ready for our third card. Our third card is Ostara. Now this is a fertility goddess. Um, it's the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Now, Astara is a Teutonic goddess, a goddess of fer fertility. That's sort of a Germanic and um, uh, um, the Germanic tribes, the Teutonic tribes up there. Um, and she's celebrated on the spring equinox. All right, so um, think of Easter time. She represents bringing light into darkness, and her energy brings fruitfulness and abundance in the form of fertil fertility and inspired creativity. There's a lot of creativity in this new moon, um, in this new moon reading, and so this is also the energy that's coming up in this third position, we think of this as the energy that we're moving into. So um, if you're thinking about starting a project 
Or sometimes we can take the fertility quite literally. If you're thinking of having a child, Ostara is kind of the goddess energy that we want to bring in to bring light to that situation and to give form to whatever it is that you want to birth. So let's take a quick overview of this highly creative reading. Wow, look at it. It's so exciting. Nematona in sort of the past position um, reminds us to create sacred space and most particularly sacred space outside and um, in nature, bringing in elements of nature into your divine space. Don't forget to smudge. Don't forget to um, put your crystals and your plants around your altar. Um, Nematoma will go ahead and um, guide you in order to create ritual and to raise the vibration and to just sort of create the space that your sacred space is going to occur. Sarasvati shows up in the present time in this new moon manifestation reading. I love this because Sarasvati is like your own personal sort of feng shui, one woman show, right? She's showing up with all of her um, vibrational talents, music, the arts, raising the space, um, vibration with color and fabrics and all of the um, creative energy that um, can fill up the space that Nimitona um, has sort of created for us to have during this uh, manifestation cycle. And I just love this fertile energy in the third position, Ostara showing up. Wow, wow, wow. You can see, even in the visual here of Ostara, you can see her with the eggs and, and casting out stars into the darkness, um, planting seeds in so many ways, bringing creativity to the forefront. So I'm willing to bet if you are a powerful goddess, you are going to have a wonderful time during this new moon cycle, and you will be able to manifest whatever it is that you desire. Just remember to lay that foundation and really sit in sacred space, bringing the stillness and bringing nature into your, into your sacred space, and then, and only then, letting um, the energy of creativity and the arts fill that space, okay? And you will have this sort of fertile abundance and manifestation coming up with this Ostara energy in the third position. So that's it for my goddess manifestation reading for today. I want to thank you for taking the time to look at my little video here, and I hope that you've enjoyed this presentation of this goddess oracle reading. If you have, or if you have any questions or would like to work with me, anything at all, please check out my website, Ask Ariel, that's A-S-K-A-E-R-I-O-L dot com. And if you go to backslash Angel Intuitive, you'll see some of my reading services where you can get your own reading um, with me or train with me to do readings yourself. At that link also at the Ask Ariel website, you can enter to win a free reading with me. Once a month, I announce a new winner um, of an angel reading, and we can discuss romance, life purpose, whatever you like. So make sure you go to my website, askariel.com, and enter if you would like to have a free reading for yourself. I hope you've enjoyed the presentation, and I look forward to contacting you in the future. Have a great day. Blessed be.